Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana, and today my dream has come true. I have a very, very special guitar on my lap. Um, this is a Greta by Mark Hatcher. Now, let me back up a little bit. Um, Mark Hatcher and I have become friends. I, we've been chatting on the phone a bit, and he gave me a link to his Flickr photos. And I can't help but just sit there and look and gawk at all of his work. And I saw this one build that I had hoped to be able to see in person one day, and now it's sitting on my lap. Alan sent me a picture of it, just the back, and said, who is it? And I went, oh no, you got it in? So I'm so excited for you guys to see this guitar. So this is the 2021 non-cutaway Greta. So it's kind of like an enlarged OM. It's 15 and a half across, but the waist is moved forward on these. So it actually ends up sitting in the guitar more this way. So everything feels like it's moved over. So it kind of feels like a 12 fretter, even though it's a 14 fret to body. So it's, it's unbelievably comfortable. Now, as you can see, there's some extreme bear claw on this top. So it's a bear claw Sitka top. Um, Mark just somehow finds some of the best woods that there is in the world. And this is no slouch. Look at this tree mahogany back in sides. The tortoise shell veining throughout here is some of the most intense I've seen out of any set of the tree I've had in my hands. Um, I, I never thought I'd have this guitar on my lap. So I'm, I'm over the moon. So you can just, you can just watch while I enjoy myself with this guitar for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so it's wrapped all the way around the face with a beautiful abalone uh, face purfling and also around this rosette, which we'll get into some of these accents here in a second. But the tree mahogany box itself is ebony bound all the way around with a thin maple purfling just to provide a little bit of contrast to that beautiful deep red tree mahogany. Now, it's got a Brazilian rosewood bridge and here is a Brazilian rosewood burl with sapwood in it. Um, it is extremely elegant in person. It, it looks very alien-like. It's, it's kind of fun to look at. Now, it's got an ebony fretboard with um, a very blue abalone uh, border all the way around the face and also these ornaments you got some cat eyes you've got some some squares and you've got some snowflakes so there's a, a wide array of them now that i'm looking at this more this may be blue paw because it is so blue and it does look different than the abalone so we're gonna call it blue paw now now, as you get into the headstock, you've also got that same um, abalone border around the headstock. It's not as blue as the ones on the fretboard. But this is Mark's signature boat paddle headstock. So yes, it has a very interesting shape to it, but there's a lot of intent here. It actually creates more of a straight string path for all the strings so that they don't kink as much as you get in. So it has better string to string sustain and balance but also it allows him to create this really kind of carved shape on the face of it and to top it off the head cap itself is that brazilian rosewood burl as well now as you flip it over mark's necks are always this beautiful even C with almost a flat spot in the back which is really great for planting your thumb. But this is a five piece neck, mahogany, maple, and Brazilian rosewood all the way down the center, followed by the maple and then the mahogany. 
which creates a very incredibly stiff neck that doesn't change or move around very much, especially going between different tunings. Now, it's, uh, it's wide spec, so it's actually 1.78 here at the nut width, um, but just two and a quarter down here at the saddle, so it's not extra wide. It's great for flat picking or finger picking, but to me, Mark builds one of the best finger picking instruments that there is in the world. Um, he also has a very unique take on the, the bracing. He does do a lattice bracing, but it's a lot different in the approach and design than a lot of the Samaji crowd. Also, his backs are completely lattice braced all the way across, which allows him to get a really even deep voice out of the back. And he tunes the top and back together to get the, the sound that he wants. And what sound is that, you may ask? Just utterly brilliant. Now this is a 25 inch scale, so it's a short scale, but I've got this down to C. And that's, that's just ridiculous. Intonation is just phenomenal on it. Um, there's something really interesting about the sensitive feel of the strings. They're, they're very loose feeling. And as a result, it feels kind of like playing a classical guitar. It has that same immediate response. You barely have to play the strings could probably just blow across them and they would activate. But it also has no shortage of head. But these treble strings. They are just fat melody makers. That this is one of the most inspiring guitars that you will probably have in your hands. Um, so if you've got any other further questions about this very special Mark Hatcher Greta in the tree mahogany, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. And I'm, I'm gonna sign off and play this thing for a while now. Thanks for listening.